As we move even deeper into Florida Bay, we walk into one of the most picturesque of all natural communities in the Francis Marion National Forest. This is a pond cypress savanna, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Scattered trees, the pond cypress, perfectly suited to growing in these shallow soiled bays that we have out here in the Francis Marion National Forest. Scattered pond cypress, and then all around them, this carpet of color right now, a mixture of truly unique plants that are perfectly adapted for living in the shallow, fluctuating water conditions of pond cypress savannas. So right now, this time of year, a couple common species that we find in all sorts of pond cypress savannas throughout the south, the beautiful bluish purple of the savanna iris or savanna blue flag, iris tridentata. Right now is peak bloom for these and they are dotting the cypress savanna with color. And then of course, it's hard to miss the yellow of a plant that's called tall milkwort or swamp candles. This beautiful yellow plant here Polygola cymosa, which is really abundant once you get where water and moisture is a little more predictable and a little deeper. And even right now, a beautiful carnivorous plant, an aquatic one, one of the bladderworts. This one with purple flower, Utricularia purpurea, purple bladderwort. Incredibly beautiful plant that flowers throughout this early part of summer, late spring. Throughout the year, this is going to be joined by one after the other of beautiful flowering species, different species than we find in just slightly shallower and slightly deeper water sites. It is one of truly the most beautiful habitats on earth and these trees, even though they're short and they look like they might be young, are pretty old. This very tree right here has been cored at over 400 years old. The growth rate here is extremely slow because of the shallow soil between <laughs> where this tree is rooted and that hard clay pan that perches the water here in this beautiful Carolina Bay. Florida Bay is by far the best representation and the best maintained example of a Carolina Bay, a clay-based Carolina Bay that I know anywhere in the world.